Hey guys, and welcome to How to Play Tori Bash. In today's episode, we're talking about camera key framing. So, what is camera key framing in Tori Bash? Well, you know when you see replays and then like in some videos the, the camera's moving like so smoothly in angles that you can't really get with the default thing where you just go like basically sideways sideways over a singular point there like in the middle and it just rotates around and you can go up, down, blah, blah, blah. But in this, we're going to be using uh, keyframing which utilizes the free cam. So if you click the number two, you'll see free cam gets enabled and now you can like basically right, hold right click in and then just use WASD to just, you know, look everywhere you want. Oh look at the sky and like some like random things. You can look look at my head, you can look at my butt, you can look at like my opponent's face or just like anywhere you want. So keyframing is pretty simple, um, it's not too hard. Um, the overall it just takes a lot of like getting used to and like regular doing it type of thing So first of all you're gonna want to get your replay to to be paused And if you don't know how to pause replays you click P and P again like pause play pause uh, Actually that's the other way around but but you get what I mean so P for pause and, and play So you can just like play like that you click R to replay it if you want to get it like paused right at the beginning, you click R and P like very quickly, and then again like to just try get it. Sometimes you sometimes you get it, sometimes you like miss a, a few frames and, and stuff like that. So so generally we're gonna be playing around with free cam. So now all you have to do is get your replay to start right at the beginning, like both characters in like the T stance, and now. I want my camera to start from here, like this angle. You gotta put your camera in a in an angle where you wanna basically keyframe. And you're gonna click the letter K, and that will say keyframe saved, the bottom left there. And now you're gonna wanna play the replay just a little bit, as, as much as you want like it to, and then you move the camera slightly to a new angle, but not like devastatingly like like to here because it's it, it will rage out. You gotta like make it like kind of bend at the camera. And and then you click K again. And then you play the replay some more, and then you can zoom in some more, go at a different angle, click K again, play the replay a bit, pause again, go click K, pause, play it again, and then just wait for a little bit there, go like this, click K again, play it, and then now you can go any other direction you want, and basically this is merging the every single point where I click K, it is basically from that angle to that angle, Tori Bash will, in between those frames that you used, it will kind of make the camera move seamlessly along along a path, like a curved path to to, to that thing, where its target point is directly in the middle of the screen where, where you're looking at. So, I don't think I feel okay here, but um, either way, it, 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 you can't put multiple replays in the same place, so it's fine. So, I'll just click K again in case I didn't do it earlier. And I'm just gonna pause again and just move the camera again, click K, pause again, play it, and go like that. Now we're gonna want to move a little bit closer, just maybe get a close up here and do it again. Keep it closer here, go like that. Okay, so there it gets like this weird little thing there, so I'm gonna move it, move it backwards a bit because that my Tori jumps into the camera slot there, and if you have it like right up, you don't want it like that, that'll be like really annoying. So I'm just gonna try to like move it around my my character and see how, how it goes and then just do it like this and then the replay is basically over at this point so now you can like start thinking about where you want the camera to like disappear at like for example I'm just gonna make it like just like fall down the the whatchamacallit the the bridge just for no particular reason just go down what is this that's weird and then just like that yeah okay now now to watch your replay um, don't let it end like this. Sometimes it bugs out and all your keyframes get lost. So be careful of the replay starting over at this point. If it starts over, you're kind of screwed and the re keyframes will just like disappear. And that's like, oh God, I gotta do it again. And, and, and believe me, it's really annoying. So what you wanna do is you wanna be, if you wanna be really safe, save the replay, cause that will save it with the keyframes. However, it will turn, um, it will keep my name here, or it will put my name here if it was someone else's replay, and it will turn uh, Samux here into Uke. So, so that can, can kind of be problematic, and you'd have to go into the, the files and change it, or LP the new skins when you record. So generally, I don't do that because it's just a lot of time and a bunch of replays to do. So, so what I do is click R and then pause it immediately, and now this will play it with the keyframes, like this, um, as you can see. 
Also, I don't like to let this one end and start over again because it, it kind of bugs out sometimes as well, I believe. Uh, so yeah, you can see the camera is basically moving by itself nice and smoothly. Uh, smoothly, really. Okay, and basically it follows all the angles and the keyframe things that I that I did and it's just gonna go like that till the, the rest of the replay, just like, fall. So yeah, so what you wanna do if you wanna record, you can go like pause it and then you type slash opt HUD zero. And this basically turns off everything on the screen. You just click escape twice just to get the, the timer and sometimes the, the little, th little thing that says game like for example, there it says Vin for apparently no reason. Just click escape twice and it will disappear. And then you can play the thing and record it and it will look like, like that. So, so yeah, that's pretty much how you do keyframing. Um, good luck with it and, and have fun, I guess. So see you in the next video.